Okay, so here's where I'm at so far. I, uh, I, I just, the loyal pressure on the gauge up front is reading like less than 20 PSI. That's obviously way too low. So we're trying to figure out whether it's an electronic gauge issue, if it's a sending unit that's uh, going bad and giving me a false reading, or if we really do have low oil pressure. Um, obviously my engine looks like it's covered in oil. It always looks like that. It's a Detroit two-stroke. This is what they look like. Um, but I don't have any serious leaks in terms of engine oil blow by or blowing somewhere. So what we're trying to do is figure out why I'm getting a low pressure reading. Is it actual low oil pressure or is it a sensor issue? So the first thing I have to do is I have a mechanical gauge that goes right up in there. See where that hole is back there? It looks a little wet, it's dripping some oil. This gauge used to be there. And of course, as you can see, it's broken. The glass is pushed in and the needle's actually fallen off of it. I don't know if you can see that, but the needle's just sitting to the side there. So this gauge is useless. <clears throat> that hole there, of course, goes to that hose that's right there. And that oil line that you see in the background there goes right to the block. So that's a mechanical gauge that'll tell us if I actually have oil pressure back here or not without any electronic sensors involved. If it turns out that I have good oil pressure once I get a new gauge on, I'm about to go to the store and get a new gauge. Then I have good oil pressure and all I need to do right now is figure out which one of those um, basically sending units that are bad. Um, switches, I guess is what it would be. So uh, the sending unit is not the issue as much as the switch because the switch is what tells the engine computer to shut down because there's low oil pressure. So I need to find the switch and bypass it if it turns out I have good oil pressure back here at the block. If I don't have good oil pressure, I have to figure out why, and that's kind of a more major issue that is a sign of engine health problem, something more major, um, oil pump or something else that I don't like. So let's just pray and hope it's not that and that it's just something as simple as a, uh, a switch here that's gone bad. Anyway, I'm about to find out. I'm gonna go get a new sensor and put it in and then see where we're at. This is kind of where I'm working right now. I had to take the air filter out to get in, to get where I'm going. But you can see this line here, this hose runs all the way to the block. So here we go, wish me luck.